Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me for Smash Our Stash. This is a collaboration put on by Teresa of Fresh and Renewed with Teresa and Beth from Bourbon Creek Crafts. They put this collaboration together to get us to dig into our stash and they give us a theme every month. It has been so inspiring and I hope that some of you are playing along with us and enjoying it. I am really digging into things that I probably wouldn't have touched otherwise. Honestly, it's been really pushing me in 2021 to dig into things. For this month, the theme was kits. I'm sure some of you have card kits, scrapbook pages, kits that you bought to make albums with, Whatever it is, you have some sort of kit. Maybe it was a, a tiny little collage kit or a mini album. You have them. They get buried in your room. And in my stuff, I don't always keep them in a logical place. I'm not sure what, what my plan was, but for example, my 12 by 12 scrapbook kits, I had kept just sort of hidden away. I had this ancient but wonderful binder from Crop and Companion that holds 12 by 12 and all the embellishments and it was in a binder and it just sort of got stuck away and they were never in the rotation to use. Last year I put it on my goals to use some and this is my last one. It's a little bit bittersweet because that's because we haven't had any crops. I get these from the classes at my crops for a decade at least have had a stash of them and now they're gone. So hopefully things will open up, we can have big gatherings, and I will get some more this year. This page has stars on it. I'm a big fan of stars and so I kept it for myself. Sometimes I, I've given a couple away or I've done books for other people. This one I wanted in my stash. It has blue and stars. It had to go in my book, but it sort of targeted a maybe like a, a birthday party or something like that. So I just decided to use it for time at home. I did a 2020 virus time scrapbook page last year. And then this year I did virus goes on 2021. And you can see this was a kit. I had most of it laid out and assembled, but I had no plan for what was going to go on it or the pictures. I have a tendency to do that where I just start it and see where it goes. I get my scrapbook page kits from embellishonline.com. You can check out their website, card kits, scrapbook page kits, and some really cool home decor stuff if you want to see it. I wanted numbers and didn't have any more in the brown, so I used white ones and I just inked the top with an orange ink and the reason I chose this type of ink is it was orange. So it wasn't a preference necessarily on the type of ink and I just rubbed it across the top and it's a little messy looking and I'm okay with that. For my journaling, I had vaccinations, working from home, video games. This is my Sadie. She is under nine pounds and rules this household. She comes out from behind the gate every once in a while and just looks around and monitors things. There's Wilson. We scrapbook on the floor together sometimes or make cards, do all kinds of stuff. We don't get a lot of snow here in Oregon in the valley. So here's a snow picture from earlier this year. Wilson is from California. He doesn't do snow. He doesn't like it. He doesn't play in it. And it's hard to get him to go outside. So getting a picture of him in snow is probably not going to happen a lot. This is my Parker and she is a sturdy girl. She has very fine bone structure and she's triangle shaped. So I wrote under here, Parker has COVID weight too. When we adopted her, she was such a scrawny thing. I thought, how are we going to keep her healthy? I don't worry about that now. This is Wilson and I morning snuggles. And I planned this to be just a page of my pets originally. And then it sort of evolved into the virus. So I ended up on the page, but Mr. Crafting and Relaxing didn't, but he'll be fine with that. And this is part of our routine, even more so now since COVID. Wilson is cuddly in the morning. He doesn't like people at 8 p.m. He's very busy guarding during the day, but during the morning, he will crawl into my lap and take my blanket. 
Sadie helping me with projects. There's Parker in the back upside down. That's normal for her. And then I put in a picture of, this is what it looks like very often in my craft room. So Wilson's laying on his bed and the whole room is destroyed. And sometimes I drop things on him, which upsets him. So they slide off tables and counters. And then I had NCIS because we binged watched the whole entire main series this year and long drives and crafting and relaxing. And I added some yellow stars that I had floating around in my stash. I like how it turned out. I'm gonna put it in my album and then that's it. I did have some mini album kits in my stash that I thought about. So if we go around the calendar again, I certainly will have more kits to use in my stash. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out the other participants in this collaboration. I have no doubt that you will see all sorts of kits and get inspired to dig into your stash and pull some things out. Bye-bye.